What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nick and Kaden No Sports. I'm Kaden. I'm Nick. Today, we're going to be first talking about how Kaden has to jump in the pool. If you watched the last episode, you know me and him had a little bet of who will make it to the champ or who will win the finals. He had the Timberwolves. As we know, the Timberwolves already lost to the Mavericks 4 to 1. So, Katie, what does this mean? Well, my team, I mean, you you have you don't have to yet because the Celtics yes. still, the Celtics still haven't won the championship, but they're going to. So, how do you So, feel? basically, how I feel about this, I know there's a chance I have to jump to the pool. But if you're t- if the oh. Celtics don't win the championship, I don't have to. Actually, we both have to. That's what I said. I said if if the Celtics if not if my team doesn't win and your team doesn't win, we both have to. So oh. remember that. So remember really, that. So really, why would you say there's a chance? It's for sure that you're jumping in the pool. Maybe I'll jump in with Bro, you. There is there is a there is a it's for sure I'll jump again. Holy cool, yo. Hey, hey, how about we make it more crazy? How about you have to wear a hoodie? Jump in with a hoodie. All right, all right, all right. No. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, tone that down. Let's tone that down. How about, how about, for the sake of me and you, our friendship, let's tone that down to just, to just jumping in with uh, some shorts, some shorts, some, just some shorts, just some, just some trunks. So, Katie, we saw that there were many upsets like, the Timberwolves lost 4-1 to the Mavericks. Like that one. How does you feel about that? I mean, I, I I have a feel for the Timberwolves. I didn't think they were losing 4-1. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It, and then the, the thing that made it worse was, and he was, he was, he's very confident, but I feel like he was being a little bit too overconfident. He was like, yeah, we're going to make this 3-1 comeback. No, I was I was very like I was deeply mad. I was I was I was really mad that they lost that bad. And I was like, I really have to jump in the pool now. But with, with our friendship, I'm jumping in with shorts, right? With our friendship. With our friendship. <laughs> but how, how do you feel about how do you feel about it? You know, um I honestly thought that Timberwolves were gonna get away with it. And then the Mavericks started won three games in a row and I was like, what? And then you saw in the fourth game, Kyrie actually said, Kyrie said, I mean, not Kyrie, Ant said in the first, once the first quarter ended, he said he was excited to guard Kyrie. And I'm like, who's excited to guard Kyrie? Like, who's ever said they've been excited to guard Kyrie? But he said that, and Luka and Kyrie averaged like 60 points throughout the rest of the game. And, you know, it was crazy. So, Timberwolves are eliminated. Now, Mavericks versus Celtics. It's going to be a fun game, but I got Celtics. It's my team. Yeah. I mean, ever since the Timberwolves walk, got kicked out, man, I've been, I've, been, I've been very sad. But it's okay. It's okay. Well, looking at the finals, you know, Mavs, a great team. Kyrie and Luka, they've been doing great. But, like, yeah. I feel – I have a feeling the Celtics are going to win. I feel like – they have, they're just an all-around better team, especially with Drew Holiday as their defender. I feel like they're just, I think they're just a better team, but like the Mavs, they have a chance, but I think the Celtics might win it, so. Yeah, and you saw how the Celtics actually borrowed the Pacers. Yeah. Uh, that was, where was, where was Halliburton at? If he was there, if he was there for all the games, it would have been, it would have been a different story, a way different story. I'm trying to tell you trying to tell you and bro the first like when you saw that the Pacers beat the Knicks then did you have higher hopes for the Pacers where you like oh they might have a chance against the Celtics no I I didn't really have a like I didn't really have high hopes for them but I just I just like I don't even know what to say man I don't I don't I don't watch the Pacers I like Tyrese Halliburton but I didn't I knew the Celtics are gonna win Celtics I knew the Celtics from the beginning I knew that they're going to the finals this year I, I knew that. Yeah. So after the finals, once the whole playoff ends, what do you think? What like, what do you think are some big moves that are gonna happen in the offseason with stars? I mean, people are gonna get traded. I I know. I can't wait for a draft day. I can't wait for the NBA draft. And you know, uh, coaches are gonna get fired. Coaches are gonna get hired. You know, 
everything's gonna happen during the off season. Yeah. You know, one of the biggest things I think we talked about on a previous episode is that how Trey Young is is most likely going to either the Spurs or the Lakers. And you know, that would be crazy seeing a Wimby and Trey do. Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. I saw I saw this one I saw this one post about it and I saw like because, you know, Rob Dillingham, there's a chance he might go to there. He might go to Spurs as well. So I was th- I was thinking, like, Trey Young, Rob Dillingham, and Wimby? This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. That would be nice. And I actually researched Rob Dillingham a little bit. I was trying to research a little more of um the, everybody going to the draft this year. So I've been doing my research. Yeah. But what... what What's your favorite NBA team? Your favorite. What's your favorite? Have I have I not mentioned this enough in the past? Oh. The Lakers are my favorite NBA team. Yeah, cuz of LeBron. There's no doubt about that. No Of course of course cuz LeBron. But you know rumors of course, but there's rumors that LeBron might leave LA. You know, yeah. you you heard about the rumors about him playing with Curry? I did hear about the rumors, but I, I don't really think that's going to happen. But there's a chance. There's a chance, but I don't really think that's going to happen. Let's talk Let's talk hypotheticals. If they actually play together, current two of the best generational players, what do you think will happen? Excuse me, but I think I think they're going to be really good together. I don't, I don't know how this duo will go hand in hand, but like I think it will go pretty well. I'd like to see it. I most definitely want to see it. That's for sure. Right. If this did happen, what do you think they're going to be? You think they're going to make it to the finals? Win the finals? Make it get out first game of the playoffs? Where do you think they'll go? I think I think they're making it at least to the finals. Nah, probably like at least to the semifinals. At least semifinals. At least semifinals. Yeah, that would be like, who could stop them? You know? For real. That's true. Yeah. But who is your, who's your favorite player? Oh, wait. Who's your second favorite player? Besides LeBron. (laughs) Wait. Okay. But my second favorite player. So, I think, I'm going to just say two. I'm going to say, they're they're active right now. I'm going to say one that's pretty, that's getting old. And I'm going to say one that's a new guy into the league. So, my new guy into the league it got to be Anthony Edwards. It has to be Anthony Edwards. Okay. But my old guy in the, in the league, I really got to say, people really wouldn't expect me to say this. I got to go with Chris Middleton. That was surprising. Yeah, one of the, in my opinion, one of the best mid-range shooters of all time. But yeah. I say my favorites are one of the newer players, year, and then one of the older players, he's been my favorite about two years now. I say Kawhi. I feel like you were gonna say something about Kawhi. <laughs> yeah, I love Kawhi. You know, he's a great player. He's a great veteran. So. Yeah. But have I feel you? Like... Oh, sorry. You go. You go. You go. You go. You go. You go. Okay, I'll go. It's, it's a quick question too. I feel like everybody's thinking this. I really want to see what jer- whose jersey you're wearing. That's that's what I was gonna say. I really oh, want to see the jersey. Oh you're wearing. God. Okay, this is a really old jersey. You know what? I'm gonna make you guess. All right, look. Play James Harden. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. Who's what other Houston player are you wearing your jersey, jersey other than James Harden? Could have been Chris Paul, Westbrook, Clint Capella. Could have been anybody. It could have been. I would not wear their jersey. It's not the king. The king. I already knew. I already knew. I already knew who it was. I already knew. But do you know any older, like, are you fans of any older players from, like, the 1900s? Like, 1990s, 1980s? Yes. I gotta go with, I gotta go with Bill Russell. 11 championships? Oh, my God. Eleven. That's insane. Eleven. Real. Like imagine walking around with eleven rings. You have yeah, that's... two rings on one finger. You can't even. Real. It's 
That's crazy. I have to go with, let's see. One dude, I actually, it, it was, he amazes me. Larry Bird. Mm. It, that man is, he is so tall and big, and then he's one of the best shooters of all time. He was one of the only players who could, <laughs> he did have a weird jump shot, but besides that, he was a good shooter. He is one of the only players that stopped MJ. That's he true. Was. So, yeah, Larry Bird. Yeah. But, you know, one thing that I've been waiting for since last since the last time we had a podcast. What do you think I'm going to say? No idea. Who am I? I, I oh. really want to do this. I've been waiting for so long. I have my player. I'm ready. Okay. You go first, because I, I need to thank you so much. Okay, I, I even have my notes over here. So. Oh my god. Yo, you did. So, yeah. So, we're going to go... Okay, my player drafted 1996. Okay. Any guess? No. Nope. Round one. Pick one. Hey, I hope I hope you're not I hope you're not asking nobody to search nothing up. We're <laughs> not in person, so I hope you're not searching nothing up. Actually, put your hands like this. I just, I need oh. to see your hands. All right. Pick one. All right. Oh. He's six foot. Only six okay. foot. Or like, you're six foot. Yep, six foot. I say it's Tom. Or Tom. No, that's not, that's not it. He's a point guard. Oh, obviously, that was. Uh, what else? He he retired October thirtieth. He had, he retired in twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. I should have just said that. You got Dwayne that? Wade. Huh? Dwayne Wade. And now he's. Did you say Dwayne Wade? He's, Wade. <laughs> he's a lot to it. And he he retired on twenty nineteen. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Wait, I need more hints for it. Um, let's just see. Let's just see who else. Uh, wait. I'm, this is probably going to give it off, but Philadelphia Sixers. I need to look this up. Oh, okay, no, this one's going <laughs> to give it off. He was very good at dribbling the ball. Oh. Alan Iverson. Oh. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I was, I was thinking, I was gonna say Julius Irvin, and then, and then you said he's really good at dribbling. I was like AI. All right, let me thank you, somebody. You gave crazy hints, so crazy hints. Well, not crazy hints, like crazy. That was, that was a good one. That was a good. One. Um, he's he was drafted during the two thousands. He is. Over seven foot. He actually did not win rookie of the year. Oh my. Let's get some let's get some more details. Wait, over seven foot. Is he still active? Yes. Over seven foot and it's still active. KD? Nah. Hmm. Over seven foot and is still active. You got any more details? Um, he is. He's there. He actually he made it to this year's playoffs. Dang. Boban? No. He was drafted during. He was drafted during the two thousands. Uh, I'll give you. He he was drafted real recent. Within, within the last five years. Within the last five years. I thought you, you were talking about 2000s. I thought you were talking about 2000 through 2010. That's what I was thinking of. Nah, see, you can't assume things. I did that to throw you off your game. It's All not right. the 2000s anymore. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But let me think. 2004, 2000. Oh, 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 yeah, you're right. You're right. But listen. You got any more detail? I'm not. Wait. As, In the last five years? Yeah. Wait. What? What pick was he? Uh. Yeah. Don't know. Nope. Okay. Last five years. It's not. It's not like Chet Holmgren, right? You got it. 
Bro. Oh my God. See, see, I made I it. Thought, I, I thought I thought. But somebody you wouldn't think of. See. I thought you were talking about like some old players. That's why I said in the last five years, I was trying to make you think they were drafted a long time ago. Yeah. Who's going drafted? That one got me. That one got me. Well, that wraps up another episode of Nick and Katie No Sports. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Katie, you got anything to say? No. Uh, just just remember to comment as well. Comment any of your NBA hot takes. Comment any of that, and we'll look it over. All right. See y'all next time. Bye. Peace.